All right, guys, we're going to continue with masks and the power of masks um, and why you would actually like incorporate it in your videos. Um, so this one is going to be a little bit more complicated, um, but this is definitely that idea of we have a mask and something's going to show through. Um, so for this one, I'm going to composition, new composition, and um, this one's going to be called mask duplicate. It's my first and last name, mask duplicate so we're going to also learn how to duplicate layers and how we can use that within our composition and then the date and year and this one is going to be 10 seconds long and background doesn't really matter for this one because we're importing our background so we're going to hit okay and I'm going to import the graphic um, that's called um, map so I gotta find my map maybe here we go map and then open and then I'm going to click and drag that to the timeline and there it is um, so I'm going to select P for position I'm going to animate the position make sure the current time indicator is on uh, frame one and I'm going to select the position and what I want is I want this to be off frame uh, stage left and then I'm going to straighten that and then I'm going to go to frame five and I'm going to move it to the center Make this easier there you go and then I'm going to go to frame 10 and I'm going to move this off to frame, uh, stage right. Okay. Then I'm going to go to layer new and I'm going to make a solid layer. And I have a very specific color that I want this to be. So I'm going to select the black box here and I actually have a code that I'm going to type in. So this is BDA17B and hit OK. And then OK. And now I have the solid layer above my map. So what I want to do is create a mask. Um, and so what I'm going to do is go to that rectangle tool and I'm going to look for the ellipse tool. And a little secret here is if I hold down the shift button, I can make a perfect circle. So I'm going to click and drag while holding shift to make a perfect circle that is centered. And if it's not perfectly centered, then hit command Z and start again. So I'm going to hit shift and then click and drag until I get a perfect circle. It's still a little bit off to the right a little bit, so I'm going to try a little bit further off. Shift command, shift, and then um, I'm clicking and dragging, and that looks a little bit more centered to me. Um, so now I want to, um, we can see that it's a, a mask here now, but I want to um, make the map show, and I want that the background um, to be brown around the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, mask one in the time timeline and scroll down and um, I'm going to change the add to subtract. All right. And um, now um, we can see that when I um, go through this now, we have this map and I want this to look like it's a globe and it's spinning, but you can see that I really need to add more layers of the mask um, so that it looks like it's like continually looping around. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to get rid of this, but I'm going to hide it. So I'm going to pick the eye to hide the mask and then I'm going to select, I'm going to collapse this so we can see it more easily. Then I'm going to pick the mask, the map layer, and then I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to duplicate it by hitting command D twice. And then on the second layer, I'm going to pick the second map and I'm going to hit the P key for position and I want to um, click the stopwatch it's um, for position. I, I want to actually like click it to like start over again. So then I'm going to move to the current time indicator um, to the frame one and I'm going to position. Um, I want to actually have the uh, map in the center of the stage so it's actually going to start here um, at frame one it's going to be in the center and I'll align this 
And then I'm going to move to the current time, uh, the current time indicator to five. And I'm going to move the map off to stage uh, right. Oops. Be a little bit easier just to use the properties value right here. All right, so now we have this one and this one. That's good. Okay. And then I'm going to pick um, map layer three and I'm going to hit P again to bring up position. I'm going to click on the stopwatch to reset um, the, the position, the animation. And I'm going to, um, on where it's uh, current time indicator frame one, I want it to be um, off stage left. And I'm actually going to hide these two so I can see what I'm doing. I'm on this one. And I want this to be on stage, uh, very good, on stage left. And then I'm going to move the current time indicator to five. And I'm going to copy and paste the previous frame. So I still want it to be on uh, off stage here. Then I'm going to move to um, 10. And I'm going to move the map to the center of the composition. Okay. So I'm going to turn these on and then I'm going to hit um, space bar to kind of see how this looks. Okay. And the only problem is, is that I have some gaps here um, between each one. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cheat <laughs> and I'm going to go to layer new um, solid and I'm going to choose this right here and I'm going to put it in the back. So click and drag it below all my maps. So I don't have to worry about aligning the seams. So now we don't have this really weird um, seam, you know, that's going through. I'm going to turn the mask back on and I'm going to hit um, the space bar to play. So now it's starting to look like, oh, it's this like rotating globe. The only thing is, is that, you know, it doesn't look spherical to me. It doesn't look like round. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, my effects. And um, I'm sorry, I'm actually going to right click each mass layer, it's a different way to get to effects for this one. Um, and I'm going to right click and say effect. And then I'm going to go to distort. And then I'm going to go to sphere eyes. And I want to change the radius to 536. And I'm going to do that for each one. So right click effect distort, sphere eyes, and then change the radius to 536. And we can see the FX now on these. So now we know that they've been sphere eyes, they've been warped. And I'm going to do it one more time. Right click, effect, distort, sphere eyes, and changing the radius to 536. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit spacebar to render. And now we can see that it's like a little bit more puckered. So now it's like starting to look like it's, and it's kind of slow right now because it's generating this effect. So it looks way better than it was just flat. So it looks like a little bit more like it's actually like wrapping around. And this is what the power of mask is. We know that you know, if I turn this off and it kept going, that this is just a linear thing going back and forth. But with the power of the mask, it looks like I've created this rotating globe. All right, that's it for this one. So I'm going to go to composition, add the render queue. Okay, again, make sure that it's named correctly and then render. And that's it for this one.